Finding a good cheap place near Ayala, near IT Park, near wherever. I get regular requests uh, to, to make recommendations or help somebody find a place. And I don't mind. I don't mind. I, I, in fact, I really appreciate the fact that uh, people uh, think that I might have some valuable information. And I do. In fact, I do. And I'm going to talk a little bit about that in, in this video. As I'm walking uh, Escario Street, which is a pretty busy street and a very interesting, as interesting street. I'm walking from the up uh, around the capital region region in Cebu City to Ayala Mall, and I'll point out a few things around the way as we discuss finding a good place to live within your budget. In my opinion, there are many attractive places in in the Cebu City metropolitan area which includes Cebu City, Mandawi City, uh, Mactan Island, Lapu-Lapu City, the, that's the Tri-Cities, uh, and then outside, going north, going south a little ways. Generally, once you move out of the location, 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 the closer you get to the malls, the IT parks, the business districts, generally the more expensive it's going to be. But you can find motivated uh, owners who have had their their unit sitting vacant for three years uh, who are willing to negotiate and uh, if, if, a, if an owner bought that property when the price was low um, he, he can rent it out and still get a return on his investment now if somebody bought in at the at the height of the the property market because property prices for 10 years have been going up and up and up uh, in Manila and Cebu City and other cities. Uh, if he bought at, at the very top of that market then it's difficult for him to make a return on his investment unless he gets a little higher rent. I'm in this area called uh, Vibo, V-I-B-O. Vibo is a, I think they're a property management company. They have built uh, they've built at least one condominium. I think they've got a couple of properties. Uh, one is just over on uh, Ozaminia Boulevard. Uh, it looks like they're getting close to getting it finished. In fact, I can see it out my window. And called, uh, what's it called? West Jones, I think. It's called West Jones Apartment. I've done a video there with their models. And for those of you who don't know, I've done dozens and dozens and dozens of videos of condominiums. Um, walking around Cebu City, Mandawi City, a little bit uh, over on Lapu Lapu with uh, Mactan Island, with the uh, a couple uh, subdivisions, housing subdivisions over there. Uh, some outside of town, some in Iloilo City, uh, over on Bahol Island as well. So first of all, I would say, uh, well, you can check out my videos, get an idea of, of what's available, what they look like inside. And a guy, guy teaching this uh, girl and, and guy how to dance. The first thing you need to do is write down what is your guaranteed monthly income. Take home pay, your pension that you get in, the, in your bank account every month. And uh, guarantee is kind of a strange word because, as I've stated before, I had my pension cut off, my Social Security, for six months because they, they made a mistake in calculating how much they were going to pay me. So uh, one day my, my check didn't arrive. So there are no guarantees. There are no guarantees. And you should plan for at least a few months of not being able to re receive that monthly. You should have some backup savings, and I did. But anyway, let's get back to your budget. First of all, you need to know how much you can afford. So the experts say uh, that you should only spend, what, 30, 35% of your take-home pay on housing, whether it's rent or house payments. Uh, the fact of the matter is there are many people around the world with the uh, high prices of, of housing that are spending 50% or even more of their take-home income on housing. But that's up to you. Uh, if, if you let's just take an easy figure, a thousand, a, a thousand U.S. dollar, fifty thousand U.S. Uh, Philippine pesos. Take a third of that, 
And there's many people watch this video from other countries, so I don't always want to talk U.S. dollars. But uh, let's say the U.S. dollar at 50 pesos to the U.S. dollar, which it, it was 48.5 when I came here, and it's been up to 58. It's very high right now, but I would suggest you use the figure, uh, use a middle figure, whatever your country exchange rate is, in, in determining this. So 50 uh, pesos to the U.S. dollar, 50,000, a thousand dollars, 50,000 pesos uh, times 30 percent is 15,000, about 300 U.S. dollars. The median pension, uh, the average pension in the U.S. is a little over 1,500 U.S. dollars, about 75,000 uh, Philippine pesos at 50 okay. to the U.S. dollar times 30% is uh, 75,000 pesos times times 30%, uh, uh, 22,500, uh, 35%, uh, up around, you know, something up around 25,000 pesos for rent, if you're making that and uh, have some control on your money. You know, we're all a little bit different. We all have different budgets, different goals, different dreams. Uh, basically, three types of budgets, as I've mentioned before. Uh, there are those very fortunate individuals who have planned well. They've been lucky in, in, fi in finance, in investing, whatever. They've been smart in their business dealings and in saving their money, buying and selling real estate, and they've made some money in various ways. And they have uh, quite a bit of money in the bank, and they've got a regular income, steady income. And for them, they want uh, a location, their, their location, and a comfortable place. Now, this is a, this is a police paddy wagon, I guess. Uh, so if you're a bad boy, you might, you might get in the back of there. And there's, there's natural air conditioning back there. So be nice here in the Philippines or any other country. Uh, you don't want to be in a Philippine jail, I'm pretty sure, or a Thai jail. Anyway, those people have the money to get a nice place and uh, with nice furnishings and not, not worry about. They've got the money to pay the bills and, and have a lot of fun and enjoy their lives. There's the second group that I belong to. We have an average pension and we've got we've got a little bit of savings, um, so we've got we've got some emergency money set aside uh, if we need to use that. That uh, river down there needs some cleaning up. Some of the rivers have uh, seen some cleaning up, but this one definitely needs some major cleaning up. But people like me, it's important to stay within a certain budget, and I I do I go by that uh, 35 percent, 30 35 percent rule. And uh, I can live comfortably, but I have to be careful and stay in control of my money. I, I, I can't travel quite as much as uh, I would like to, uh, but I can enjoy my life here in the Philippines. It would be very difficult. I watched a video yesterday about places you can live in the U.S., towns. Uh, you can live in America, the U.S., for under, I think, about 17 hundred dollars a month but even the rent in most of those places was was uh, about seven hundred seven hundred dollars and the guy said yeah he'd been to those towns and uh, it, it's difficult to find there there's not much to rent and uh, you know so the chance of you actually finding a place uh, for under a thousand U.S. dollars would be pretty slim to none. Now, the place that uh, you, know, you all know, I hope, unless you've been living in a in a cave, that the last three years there's been a international travel uh, restrictions and uh, millions of people left the Philippines. Uh, the Koreans, the number one tourists here. Uh, the, the Koreans, the Japanese, the Chinese, all the Western countries, millions and millions and millions of people left. The condominium over there, I've done a video in there. 
and many of the other condominiums up and down the streets. So here we are. Uh, the, the world is open back up pretty much. Uh, the Philippines still has mask requirements in medical facilities and public transportation, basically. Apparently, they have not read uh, about the, what, 78 studies that come out uh, about the effectiveness uh, or lack thereof of masks in stopping viruses, but uh, that's a discussion for a different site. Uh, their sensors on social media these days don't like people talking about some of the science. Back to the point I'm making, there are thousands or tens of thousands of condos, apartments, hotel rooms, and many hotels have, have uh, turned their rooms into more long-term rentals as well. Uh, kids here, now here, here, here. Uh, there were kid, uh, kids right back there who were asking, asking money, so they were on a very, very, very tight budget. The place that I live in is 25% less than what, what they were getting before the a travel lockdown before before the crisis. Um, they were getting thirty-five thousand, and I'm paying twenty-five thousand with with utilities and everything included now because of the good exchange rate uh, for the U.S. dollar. Uh, comes out to everything comes out to less than six hundred dollars a month with everything: utilities, electric, water. I advise everybody to stay in control of your money. So there, there's the third group of people, and here's the third group of people who are, who are on a very tight budget. And uh, got what is the Golden Golden Peak Hotel over there? And you got these guys, these children out here, trying to sell towels and asking for money. They are in that third group very very tight budget if your monthly income is less than a thousand US about 50,000 uh, Philippine pesos some people would say if your income is under 1500 pesos or 2000 pesos you're in that that bottom group so it just depends upon where you live how you live what your needs are You've all heard the term location, location, location. Generally, that is true. If you want to live, uh, for instance, close to a mall uh, or in the, in the middle of a business district where you're more likely guaranteed of a uh, good internet connection, for instance, and uh, uh, less likely to get interruptions in, in electric and water, those sorts of things, uh, you're probably going to pay a higher rate per square meter. You can find, and I have found, walking the side streets near some nice areas like IT Park, once you get a block or two away in the side streets, you might find an apartment. Uh, generally, you will not find them online, and you'll have to uh, walk the streets, ask the locals, you know, get find a Filipino friend who can help you and uh, start asking around um, if you want short-term rentals two three months that's more difficult most people want a six month or 12 month lease but I have I have I had a friend that came here a few months ago and stayed for I think three months and after talking to a number of people in one particular building uh, because they post they post the rentals in the building he stayed in, Mabolo Garden Flats, and I've done a number of videos there. Uh, he found somebody. I think I think a six month lease would have been fifteen thousand a month for the studio, but I think he paid seventeen thousand a month plus electric uh, because he didn't want to sign a lease. And he said, "Well, yeah, the the people were desperate because they haven't had anybody living in there for three years." So as I said before, you can find motivated people, but it's going to take a little bit of time and effort on your, your part. Real estate agents uh, generally, uh, generally are not going to, you know, they get a commission, and uh, they aren't going to get a commission on a one or two or three month, or not, not anything worth their time. So you're going to have to get out 
and uh, what you'll find is you'll find signs on walls, signs on uh, telephone poles saying uh, apartment for rent, condo for rent, such and such place. Give a number and you're going to have to, you or somebody will have to contact them and check out the place. Generally, you get more for your money renting a house. You get more space. Uh, I, I've been renting. I've rented six different condominiums in seven plus years and uh, moved a number of times to get a little bit better place and or try to get away from some of the noise. Uh, my first two places I lived were just outside of IT Park and I I, I think my all-in, including all my utilities, my first place probably came to f probably around 15000 My next place is a studio, and I had a balcony overlooking IT Park. And my rent was 15000 a month, pesos. And then um, I think my electric was about 2000 between 2000 2500 a month, I believe. Inside of IT Park, add about... 5,000 pesos and uh, in, inside IT Park you've got the uh, various Avita Towers, you've got Asia Premier, uh, you've got Calyx and there's two Calyx. There's a Calyx in IT Park, there's a Calyx over in Cebu Business Park where Ayala Mall is uh, and I've done videos in all of those as well. If you're staying short term uh, there, there are many sites, real estate companies that have sites with uh, with places for rent and for sale. Uh, you can go Airbnb, you can go Booking.com. I think Expedia has a site. Uh, VacationRentals.com, something like that. And here I'm at. I'm at the uh, PUE, Public Utility Vehicle. I think it stands for terminal right next to Ayala Mall and uh, if you want to travel cheap you wait for the jeepneys or the V hires vans for hire that run regular routes and that's what these people look at these people they're they're all lined up all the all the vehicles have already loaded up capacity and left and these people are waiting for more to return got a couple jeepneys over there loading up as well there's a ground level as well I'm gonna walk down there and they've got a number of jeepneys but you'll get some of the uh, more modern buses I think will come into this terminal as well other cities as well you know we've got we've got a couple uh, areas and things are changing you know they're building big more developments you got Mandani Bay over by uh, Park Mall um, You've got the street uh, F Fortuna, I think it is, where J Center Mall is, where immigration used to be. A uh, number of, of condominiums up, up that road. Um, just for your information, uh, the immigration, main immigration office in Cebu City now is in Robinson's Galleria, the new Robinson's Galleria Mall. Not in the two Robinson's malls on Fuente Osmeña Circle. It's a, it's a different mall. Presently, third floor. I think they're they're uh, remodeling a place on the on the first floor or basement area where their offices will eventually be. And then there is a immigration office uh, over on I think it's called Gaisano Island Mall, over on McCann Island as well. And uh, you might check that out. It might be. People tell me they get in and out of there a little bit faster than they do the Cebu City branch. When I first came here and was checking online, uh, I found that it seemed like housing on Mactan Island was generally cheaper, but you know that there again, location, but uh, they've, they've got lots of housing developments over there. If you're looking for something less than uh, six months, you probably want to go with the the online route, try to find something there, and or uh, just walk around areas you think you might be interested in and uh, start checking out the signs, talk to the locals, because they know somebody who knows somebody that uh, it wants to rent. Other cities as well, of course, have their business districts and their areas that are more modern. 
Um, I had a friend who lived in Iloilo for a while, and he said he, he I liked Iloilo City. He said uh, he lived in a part of town that didn't impress him, I guess. And he moved on. He moved out to a smaller town uh, over on, I think, Panay Island. Hello, Lawrence. And uh, apparently he likes it there. He's renting a house. And I've, I've, he sent me the video of his house, 15000 for a pretty nice house, unfurnished. So Dumaguete, Iloilo City, Bacolod have become real popular. Some people like the higher, uh, cooler area, Bag Baguio City. Um, you got Davao City, of course, down in Mindanao, about, about the same size as uh, Cebu City. Cebu City is considered the uh, second largest. Anyway, thanks for watching. Good luck hunting.